Hey Spurs fans, Paul the Hotspur Hippie here, the only psychedelic soccer show on the internet. And it's football time, it's football weekend. I'm getting excited uh, for the Man City game. Both managers in one corner, Ange Postacoglu, uh, and in the other, who is he, Pep something, um, have done their press conferences. And unusually, I watched, uh, I watched a bit of Pep's uh, press conference. I don't really care what other managers say, unless they're spitting the dummy over a VAR decision or something like that. Pep seems pretty impressed with Ange. Remembers playing, uh, playing uh, Yokohama when Ange was manager there. He said even though he won the game, they were a good side. He, he does good things and he's good for football. Not my words. Pep, multiple winning of lots of things, Guardiola. Oh, I remember his name. <laughs> so much for that joke, eh? Um, now, Ange, uh, Ange had a couple of interesting comments in his. First off, he was asked... Uh, with Erling Haaland being so tall, do you need a bit of height in the defence? Is there, you know, is Eric Dyer a solution for that? And he said, no, <laughs> and then carried on talking, but it was just this first, nah, not really. I mean, is, is Eric Dyer that tall? You wouldn't know it because his, uh, his feet have uh, got cement boots, haven't they? He never leaves the ground and makes an effort to get the ball in the air. And if he does, his head ship shaped like a 50p piece, so you don't know where it's gonna bounce off. Could it be the time we see some youngsters? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. He, Ange was also asked about um, his thoughts on the new Sinbin proposal by, who are these, who are these people? I know, I, look, I know, I know there's a thing called FIFA. I know there's the FA and there's UEFA, but who's this other lot that make the rules? What is it, I, is, uh, uh, they're just making them up and I bet, I bet they do their, their little boardroom, you know, with their prawns. They always have a prawns. Don't worry about the, don't worry if you don't understand what we're doing. Have some more prawns. Oh, thank you, thank you. I bet their mandate is to innovate football. Like it wasn't, it wasn't perfect, the perfect sport for the first 150, 200 years of existence. Um, so Ange was asked, what do you think of the sim bin? Bin it, bin it, straight away, bin it. Loved it. What a great answer. Uh, he was also asked, um, uh, do you think you uh, might be uh, setting up a bit more defensively against Manchester City, seeing as, you know, they're a really good team and you're a bit shit? Uh, you shouldn't be playing. I mean, that's it. It's the implication. When anyone says set up more defensively, the implication, and I heard this so many times when he was manager of Australia, is that, oh, you reckon the team's not up to it. So we've got to, we've got to be all meek and mild-mannered, cowering away. While the others just go, the other team just rampages all over us and we're just timid, timid little shrews. Nah, man. Angie's asked to, uh, was, well, if you were going to have a punt on what I'm going to say, what do you reckon I'd say? And, uh, and then spelled it all out, spelled it all out. If, if, if the message isn't getting through to uh, the Fleet Street meathead hacks and uh, football fans all over the country, this is what we're doing at Tottenham. That's it. That's it. He, uh, Ange wants to make us a big team, a big club. He says we should be, but the only way you're going to do that is by sticking to your guns, sticking to your principles. So look, I'm excited about this game. I think we're going to see some great football. I don't know if the result's going to go our way, but it might do on the other hand. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm excited about it because I know that come what may, um, we're going to be playing Tottenham Hotspur football. Uh, something that's been missing from the club for so long and now it's back and now it's back it's not going away it doesn't matter the circumstances we could go down to seven men against Manchester City and we'll still be giving it to them giving it to them I love it man I love the attitude of it I said before if your football isn't good enough in those hard circumstances well when is it good enough you've got to do it you've got to do it there's none of this defensive stuff and just building for the long term like he said he wants to build greatness at Tottenham Hotspur. That doesn't come overnight. And while we always want to win, don't we? Um, sometimes you ain't going to get the result in this building process because it's not just building as in buying and selling players. It's seeing what the people we've got, what they can do, whether they're up to it. And you know what? Some of them are showing that they, uh, they can at least take part. Even, uh, well, I, look, I'm drawing a long bow. I'm not saying I want to keep him, but Ben Davies was playing better I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't want him in the team. I don't want him in the team. But if we've got no chance, uh, choice but to play him, then at least he's kicking the ball forward. Bless him. He's, 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 he's understanding that bit. Uh, 
so who knows what the team's going to be. Uh, I, I was very excited by last week's lineup. I'm sure I'm going to be uh, thrilled when I see this week's lineup. Um, we've got Basuma back, uh, Eve Basuma. And uh, mentioned about discipline at the club, about how that's something we've got to get a handle on. Uh, and Biss, uh, after a great start to the season, uh, well, he wasn't he wasn't as good. I'm not saying he's, he was rubbish or whatever. He just wasn't as good. Um, and Angel said it could be, it's a possibility when you're sitting on that many rel uh, yellow cards and red cards that um, you know it might be in your mind a bit to uh, take a bit of risk out of your game. Hopefully we will uh, we will keep our cool heads that we're renowned for at Tottenham Hotspur, probably top of the uh, unfair play table. But that's why I like it. I like it. I like it. It means we've got a bit of steely resolve. Now I'm going to be. Oh, now if you want to get involved in the action, uh, I'm running a, a football tipping competition. Never too late to join because we're going to do you know week by week winners, uh, month by one month winners. You're not going to win anything. Just uh, just uh, adulation and everyone tugging their forelocks and take, bowing their hats off to you. That's all that is, because this is a gambling free website, uh, YouTube channel, no gambling here. Gambling is knackered sport, I hate it. And there's none of it happening here. So it's just, just, just for shits and giggles. The website is predictthefootball.com and if you, it's free to join up. Uh, just bung in your email address. I think you can even make an email address up. It's not too, uh, too uh, hard on the old security for you. And uh, the, code, the lead code is 534040. 534040. Four, I'm trying to help. I'm not doing a good job in it. Uh, 534040. Predictthefootball.com. I'm currently propping up the bottom in the relegation zone, but luckily a load of people have joined afterwards, so it looks like they're worse than me, which is great. Great for football, great for my YouTube channel, and great for the competition. Glenn Hoddle's currently at the top, along with Dirty Sanchez, and. Uh, Begins with a C, doesn't it? Begins with a C, I can't remember. Now, I might be a little bit quiet on the streams at the moment because um, I am actually, see, I'm trying to create the illusion I'm in a forest there and there's someone moving, I'm just sitting in the street. I'll, I'll take you behind the curtain, look, look. It's the best I could find. I've been driving around all morning, here we are. Someone moving, engines revving. Anyway, I'll take you back to my little bit of tranquility that I found here. We can't even stand the camera up now. I might be a little bit quiet on the streams next couple of days because uh, I am going really hard at work at the moment uh, to uh, pay my trip to Tottenham, New South Wales. Yes, it's coming. It's coming. I mean, what? I don't know. You expect me to make sense? I drive all day for a living. Oh, what am I doing on holiday? I'm going on a bloody road trip. <laughs> But I suppose it's a different sort of driving. Uh, New, Tottenham, New South Wales is about seven hours drive that way. Uh, population 532, it's got a massive pub. It's got a football pitch, well, I mean, it's, it's egg shaped, so, you know, but I'm gonna kick a football there, I don't care. I'm gonna bring football back to Tottenham, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm very excited. So I will be leaving here uh, on Wednesday, heading off west and uh, should be in Tottenham a couple of days later. Gonna take it easy, no plans, no idea what's on the way. I know there's a great big radio telescope at Parks, featured in the movie The Dish. That's probably something worth checking out. But apart from that, there's lots of bloody nothing, which is the way I like it. Uh, and also, you know what this means? The Perryman cometh. Yes, Steve Perryman will be live on the stream. He's, uh, he's coming on with me at uh, uh, when is it? He's coming on the night. Uh, this is UK time I'm talking about here. Uh, the 9th of December at 8 p.m., which is the 10th of December, 7 a.m. here. Well, makes no sense, does it? Well, that bit makes sense. Um, I'm, I can't wait. This is going to be a, this is going to be a, a thrill for me. Much more a thrill than me than for it is for Steve. I'll put it that way. So, if you've got any questions um, that I can pull out of my back pocket. I'm sort of winging it. I've got a couple of things that I do want to talk to him about, but if it goes a bit dusty in my brain, maybe I'll just get starstruck, you know, and go all dumb. If you want to put a question below, I can't guarantee I'll ask it, but, uh, you know, and don't make it something like, so Steve, when did you start playing football? You know, we're not going down that path. I want to go down uh, a path less often trod, 
with Steve Perriman because uh, he's got one of the best football brains going and I want to I want to get in there a bit understand it because look you know there's, there's no brain at all in here it's just it's just a little glowing orb in the middle of space it don't do much but you know that's way well, that's life eh? so uh, that's Steve Perryman uh, the uh, the ninth in the UK 9th of December at 8 p.m. 10th 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 of December, 7 a.m. in Australia. I can't wait, I'm gonna be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Uh, I won't be doing build-ups this week on the matches because it's, it's something like three, three o'clock kickoff on a Monday and I'm, 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 I'm buggered through working so much so I'm gonna be at stretch just to watch the game this week. Um, but I'll be around. Having said all that, I'll probably stream tomorrow morning. I'm unpredictable, I'm spontaneous. I'm just saying why well, I might not be around for the next couple of days, that's all. Uh, but I hope you're all looking forward to the game. It is going to be a cracker. Um, whatever the result, I think we're going to see a great game of football. Angie, the boys are on it. Peace and love, man, and come on, you Spurs.